After having missed her, we're excited to announce that we're joined this morning by Elizabeth Musa, our anchor for Trendwave. Good morning, Liz. Good to see you looking bright and beautiful in pink. Great to be here, Osa and Olive. So lovely to be here. I missed the show. Yeah, we Rita, missed you. You're, you're Rita, you know, wore pink today. Was that intentional? Great minds. That's what you guys say, isn't it? Great minds think alike. Wahala well, for who no be great mind. We don't wear anko. We think cool anko. All right, go on. What's going on today, Trendwave? Okay, quite a lot is going on on Trendwave, but this time we stay in Nigeria where comedian Bovi ha has been slammed on social media by critics who attacked him for his poor parenting skills. Now, earlier he shared a video of himself informing his eight-year-old daughter, Elena, to join his brother and mother in the kitchen so as to learn how to cook. But his daughter replied saying that she was not ready for Bovi's drama, knowing fully well that he also cannot cook. Elena's response to her father has Gan had several reactions online. I'd like us to see this video before I go on to see how people are criticizing this particular video. You can't be here like this, Elena, when your brother is dead. Okay. Hmm? Hmm? How can your brother know how to cook and you don't know how to cook? I said, okay, I'm not ready for drama. I'll go and help. What do you mean? Come on, get up. What drama? Drama with you. When you don't know how to cook. Who told you I don't know how to cook? He doesn't know how to cook. Tell her. After not cooking for how many years? Your mom is spoiling you by not teaching you how to cook. Spoiling who? This is the same woman that spanked me and also Elena, made you me do it. No. Come back. Go there. Go and ask her. Well, there you have it. While some have criticized this young girl, others have lauded her for being outspoken, especially in this day and time. Now, reacting to critics, Bobby stated that they were both having fun, and this conclusion that confidence makes her rude is baseless. Now, that's the post by official Bobby right there. He said, how times have changed, and there he is laughing. Then he went on to say, update, I've read all the comments, and I'm convinced people will see what they want to see. To those who found it lighthearted, you can tell there's emotional equilibrium in their lives. They could see that speaking freely doesn't necessarily mean indis indiscipline and we were basically on cruise. As for those who were alarmed, check well. We were raised to think confident use of words amounts to being rude. And that's why in some places a young person ask asking an older person, how are you or how now is regarded as being rude. Cheer up, you were triggered because you were abused growing up and you have mistaken being outspoken for being rude. That's not to say kids can't be rude, but in this scenario, she wasn't being rude. And he went on to say, cheer up. Now, that's how Bobby feels about this particular one. But we'll see some of the reactions right now uh, before I come to you, Olive and Osa. Now, that one is from Hila Girl. It says, when you bring to the street, the street will always have their opinion. And there she is saying, you know what? I don't know. Uh, more reactions on this particular story. Now, that one is from the Econ Boy. It says, the thing is that people don't yet understand that kids are people too. You can't oppress them. We must relate with them as human beings. More reactions on this story. Ojulawa Studio says, people mix being bold with being rude. In our generation, we had low self-esteem because adults at school would tell you to keep quiet. You're too outspoken. And she went on to say that she remembers a teacher then that children are, were not meant to speak. Their opinions didn't matter. Now, that's Ojulawa recounting her past experiences. That one's from Peckfield. It says, I always say there's a thin line between being outspoken and being rude. A choice of words is a no-no. Those supporting, now well done. Uh, official Bobby Frederick says, I don't know about you, but she sounds so rude. Woke parenting in the mud. Now, that's how people are reacting to this particular story on social media. Some people think, you know what, it's, I think it's a bit, a, a bit you know, over the top. Some people think, you know what, that's a girl who knows what she wants, who knows what she's saying, and she's a very outspoken kid. More uh, to other stories, a Twitter user simply identified as Cam Houdini had on Sunday revealed how his neighbor caught his girlfriend cheating and bundled all her belongings to the orphanage uh, because of this said cheating. Cam Houdini, who shared the story via Twitter, said the angry boyfriend paid him $200 to help him pack the things. Now, that's the post from Cam Houdini. He noted that the girl involved is not even aware that her belongings are being moved to the orphanage as she was currently away. This particular post did not go without being noticed. As always, posts like this never go by without getting the buzz. Let's see some of the reactions on social media. Millie. Millie says, why not, why not just tell her she is kicking her out? Why do all that? Why do all the, why do all that work and put all of her things in a goodwill? If she cheated, confront her, tell her to get her things and get out. 
why do all that labor and spend the termination fee just to get back at her? That's how Millie feels. That one is from Lance. Lance says, you all are saying is over, overrating, shaking my head. She's already cheating. So what you think she's doing on that trip with her friends, that man is not overreacting. This is the perfect way for him to leave. More reactions to this story. That one's from Art Ferry. She says, uh, kick her out, cool. But to get rid of her stuff, that's just petty and immature. And ultimately, that negative reaction won't bring you the same healing and blessings you receive from simply just walking away. Whoa. And that one is from Angie, Fra <laughs> Angie Fragrance. It says, this level of petty isn't ordinary. This one is from Rosie Throne. It says, it served up lunch and this is no longer breakfast because this one is heavy. He carry weight. Well, that's how people are reacting on social media to the stories we see on social media. I tell you on social media, we see lots of interesting stories. Sometimes you're just like, how is this even happening? If, if, if you're not seen on social media, you probably think it was something out of the movies. But what do you make of the stories, Osaragi and Olive? I saw give you first. Well, uh, no, why me first? You go first. <laughs> <laughs> okay. First of all, I think I'll start with the Bobby story. And to say that in some way, I see where he's coming from. A lot of us, uh, the older generation, I can't believe I said a lot of us and then said older generation, but a lot of people were raised in families, especially with the African culture, that silences younger people and say to you that you can't speak back to an adult. But it's starting to change with uh, the Absolutely. younger generation. I think it's Generation Alpha, they're called. Being able to speak more about what they want and being affirmative. I didn't see anything wrong with that video. At the end of the day, when you give birth to your own child, decide how you want to raise your child. And then for the last video on charity, it's quite hilarious. It sounds like, I mean, the petty side of me is like, yes, but it's not your place to give out her property. If she decides to take it to court, the matter will be sorted out in, in court. You know, it's, it's not your place. It's, what he's done, I don't know if it's akin to theft, but it just doesn't make sense. Well, to, to be honest, I actually prefer, I'm not trying to take sides here, but I prefer him taking this clothing out to the charity. I prefer that the burning, those those people that do the old burning thing. Yeah, it's the seed, same thing, Liz. It's and the same all thing, that. Liz. You're depriving a person of their property. Something that would make her life convenient and comfortable. So she's basically going to start shopping her fresh. She can't take him to court. Well, um, it just doesn't make sense. So I agree with Bobby. Um, and I think, you know, a lot of people need to spend less time discussing about people's, you know, uh, marriages and kids and homes and the way they choose to run their homes except it's, but then you know, again it's social media when you bring up a story to yeah social i get media. it i get it you know and i also agree you know a lot of the things that we see as normal we're really just a very very abusive way of our response on. is trauma response. um yeah it's, it's really um and of course she has that very very beautiful relationship with our father and it's something that i love i love to see um, i love it but of course you know with the other situation i i i mean i, I know people handle her different um but I'm going to assume that he bought those clothes. Um, and that's why he's choosing to give them out because he paid for them. If not, then I agree with Olive. All right. Thanks very much, Liz. It's always a pleasure. I would have asked you both a question, but... We'll ask us. We'll answer on Thursday. I would have asked you both that what's the worst thing you've done in a relationship out of hurt? <laughs> we'll answer out on Thursday. Hurt. So you'd have thought it through. <laughs> I'll tell you mine off camera. I can't say it on camera. I wasn't violent or, you know, but I'll tell you off camera. That's fine. I need to see. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for joining us this morning, Liz. Enjoy the rest of your Tuesday morning. It was a pleasure. Morning.